We are reading through the book of Matthew this month, taking a chapter a day, and each day I'm posting a video clip trying to give a couple of thoughts about that chapter, not going into every little detail, but trying to give some nuggets. Today we're on Matthew 23. The bulk of Matthew 23 is about when Jesus is talking about the, fr the, the scribes and the Pharisees, and he's talking about them in very poor terms. I mean, he says, the scribes and the Pharisees, they want to sit in Moses' seat. Now, there's debate about exactly what is he referring to. Is this a particular seat in the synagogue? Or is this more like a position, kind of like the Senate seat that we would norm modern have? But the idea is that they're trying to take some kind of place of honor, whether that is a physical place or whether that is a a uh, respectable place, a title, if you will, because it says later in verse six, they love the best places at the feasts. They like all the recognition, the Pharisees, the scribes. They like those key positions physically and metaphorically. They want all the good titles, greetings in the marketplace, and to be called by men, rabbi, rabbi which is, it was a term of respect for a teacher. It's the idea that the Pharisees and the scribes wanted all sorts of respect, wanted honor, wanted accolades. They wanted to be recognized all the time. They wanted to be seen high and have their chests puffed out and have everybody look to them for the answers, whatever the question was, but, that's not what the kingdom of God's about. That's not what God's love is about. It's about loving our neighbor. It's about loving God. It's about looking at the heart of who God is. Why did they, were they so threatened by Jesus? Because Jesus was exposing them. They wanted to maintain their positions of power and prestige. Jesus was more interested in having the truth be heard so that people would come to know real love, real truth, real honor, real respect. It's not about what position or what title you have. We have the same problem with people today. I unfortunately know too many ministers who like sitting in the fancy chair up on the altar. They like the position with the initials next to their name, R-E-V period. They like being invited everywhere as the honored guest. Oh, Rab pastor this, reverend this. But in reality, they've missed the point and aren't living out God's love anywhere near it. That applies for all of us. We don't need to be caught up with what degrees you have, what letters you have before your name or after your name. We don't need to be caught up in how we are viewed by other people. What's so much more important is how we are viewed by God. I don't want Jesus to look at me and say, woe to you, like he says, woe to the scribes and the Pharisees. We need to be honoring God with our actions, our attitude, our lips, and our love. Not like the Pharisees, not like the scribes. And don't always look to religious leaders as examples either. Look to Jesus as the example, as the way, the truth, and the life.